This video is intended to serve as an educational resource for teachers and students. The experiment demonstrated in this video is potentially dangerous and can result in injury or damage. Therefore, you should not attempt to perform this experiment without the supervision of a qualified teacher and exercising all appropriate safety precautions. All right, welcome to the experiment. Today we're talking about happy sad balls. You may have heard of them. Essentially, they're identical balls in appearance that behave much differently. Watch. The reason why they behave differently is something called the glass transition temperature of rubber. Glass transition temperature is essentially a point at which above that temperature, rubber behaves rubbery. Bounces, bends, stretches, whatever. But below the glass transition temperature, rubber is brittle. It does not bounce. It does not behave as rubber normally does, as you think of it. Today, what we're going to do is try to manipulate these temperatures to see if we can't get these to exhibit different properties. All right. So this one here, the one, does, the one does not bounce. We're going to try to heat it up, get it above that glass transition temperature. And this one, we're going to cool down and get it below that temperature, see if we can get it to stop bouncing so much. All right. Alright, let's start this off. Number two. Ready? Alright. We've got boiling water here. We're going to warm it up. You can do this at home with the freezer, with dry ice. Today we're using liquid nitrogen. This stuff is very cold. 320 degrees Fahrenheit below zero cold. So my number two here has your gloves on, goggles, the whole works, all right? You do not want to mess with this. It can give you cold burns, instant frostbite. You gotta be careful. All right, now that she's got it plenty cold, she's gonna set it aside. You don't want to drop it immediately because it could shatter. Let that warm up a little bit. In the meantime, we'll take out this one. If you remember, this is the one that did not bounce at all, all right? We're not working miracles here, but you can tell it does bounce more than it did before. All right. Apparently, we've gotten it above its glass transition temperature. This one, however, bounced a lot. Right now, not going to bounce much at all. Friends, is the effect of manipulating the glass transition temperature. Thanks for watching. This video is intended to serve as an educational resource for teachers and students. The experiment demonstrated in this video is potentially dangerous and could result in injury or damage. Therefore, you should not attempt to perform this experiment without the supervision of a qualified teacher and exercising all appropriate safety precautions.